Democratic Senator Joe Manchin not willing to jump on board with Dems. And tonight, Manchin is the one with the power, holding Biden's agenda in his hands. And he's not on board with Democrats passing the infrastructure bill with no Republican support. Just listen to Manchin, who just spoke out to our Manu Raju. We need to do something in a bipartisan way. We can't continue on these types of projects because we were able to bring everything to fruition working through a bipartisan way. The Republicans didn't get everything they wanted the last time, as you recall. Mm -hmm. And basically, we're not going to get everything, but we can move forward. And the president has that desire and the urgency to get something big done. You're not ready to go for Democrats to do this alone on reconciliation right now. I've always been to the point where we've got to work together. You know, you can only do so much by yourself. And that's what we're not designed to work that way. Mm -hmm. The House is. The House was designed strictly, strictly for what they do. Mm -hmm. It comes hard at you, whether it's Republicans in control or Democrats. The Senate was never designed that way. The Senate was designed for, okay, I see that right there, but we can, you know, we can maneuver that a little bit and we can massage a little bit and make it a little bit better. Manchin is completely at odds with many Democrats who say they're ready to act alone if they have to. They don't care if they don't get a single Republican on board. It comes to Senator Mitch McConnell today, says he's not sure there will be a deal, which really may mean a pretty simple thing, which is that the only way Democrats can actually pass this major, major legislation is to do it alone, to push it through reconciliation, which would require only a simple majority. Manchin, just not there. He's saying it's got to be bipartisan. And right now, that is what power looks like. In response, Biden has offered to slash the price tag of the bill by nearly half, from $1.7 trillion to $1 trillion. It wasn't Republicans that got him to do that. It was Manchin's stance here. Manchin has also made it clear he's against paying for the infrastructure bill by hiking the corporate tax rate to 28 percent, as Democrats want. This is what power looks like, because today CNN is learning that President Biden is now trying to find a way to pay for his plan without raising corporate taxes. This is power. And this power goes beyond infrastructure. Biden needs Manchin on board for his other priorities, including a massive bill on voting rights. That will require Manchin to go along with eliminating the filibuster, something that he has been clear on. He just told Armani Raju he is unwilling to bend on that. And you've been very clear about your desire for the Senate. No, I'm still very clear about that. And, and, and could you just say, can you just say, just take it off the table and say you'll never reduce the 60 vote threshold on the filibuster? Please, please, please ditch the filibuster. Please, please, please. Oh, pretty please. Please, Senator Manchin, make your little Manu Raju a happy man again. Please. Let me just tell you one thing. We're going to make the Senate work the way it was intended to work. Mm -hmm. We're, I'm, I'm totally committed to that. And I'm not throwing caution to the wind. I have never desired to do that. I've listened to everybody's point of view. But the bottom line is, this country has got to unite it. We can't divide it. Not going to get rid of the filibuster. A no-go on what Democrats are now, you know, in chorus wanting to happen. Can't happen if he's not on board with it. But the bottom line is this. We've got the power. You hear Manchin's comments tonight. Frustrating. A lot of Democrats. Manu Raju is out front tonight in Morgantown, West Virginia, where you just saw him speaking to Senator Manchin. Jeff Zeleny is out front live in Washington. Manu, let me just start with you since you had a chance to speak to Senator Manchin. What more did he tell you? Well, he's making it very clear that he is not ready to buck Republicans in the 50-50 Senate. And that is so significant because getting legislation through will require either Joe Manchin changing his position on either trying to get an infrastructure package done along straight party lines, something they can do presumably through the budget process that allows them to avoid a Republican-led filibuster. He is not ready to do that. He says talks need to continue. They've been going on for months. A lot of Democrats say, let's give up. He also is not ready to abandon in the filibuster to get a major voting legislation through the Senate. He opposes the Democratic plan, but he also is working on a narrower piece of legislation aimed to bolster voting rights and access. But even if 10 Republicans don't agree with that, he is not on board with the idea of changing the filibuster rules to allow that voting legislation to move forward. But he made clear that he's willing, he wants the both two sides to work together. The question is, will he change his mind? He's making it clear he's not.
you know, making it very clear in his interview. What evidence do you have that the Mitch McConnell wants to work with? Because last week he blocked a commission bill, and he could have, and you, you saying that he will wants to work with him. He's dead either. I'm not saying that one's dead either. You know, I was very disappointed. I think it was wrong what he did, and I've said that. He knows how I feel about that. Mm -hmm. And they looked at it truly as a political. I did not look at political from that standpoint. I looked at our country coming back together. Mm -hmm. It was totally everything they asked for. It was totally bipartisan. I think Nancy Pelosi was very gracious in what she had offered, mm -hmm. basically making it totally bipartisan. Chuck Schumer said, okay, I'll do the same. Uh, they were able to if, if come to a disagreement. They were able to have the same staffing levels. Everything was done in the most bipartisan way. And for him, they blocked it because of the filibuster. I'm supposed to be a reporter, but as far as the filibuster goes, I'm an advocate. Please, Joe, please, 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 please ditch the filibuster, please. Well, for one person blocked it on that. But the bottom line is we have seven people. Six that voted, seven would. We need three more. Let's give it another shot. I mean, so you can say you'll never produce a 60 vote threshold. Basically, we're going to make the place work. We're going to make the so place. You're not taking that off the table, then. What's wrong with you, Joe? Can you can you just give us a hint, a little, a tiny little hint? Just could you make maybe? How about if you just twitch your eyebrow a little bit to give us a hint that maybe, possibly, sometime in the future hopefully in the near future, that you might bend, at least bend a little bit on the filibuster. Please, Joe, please, 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 please. We're making it work. We're going to make the place You're work. You're not taking, reducing the 60 vote threshold off the table. Done. We're going to make the place work. I don't know what else I can tell you. Mm -hmm. And you can't make it worse and let, uh, work unless the minority has input. Mm -hmm. You can't disregard a person that's not in the majority. Mm -hmm. The Senate was never designed that way. And I've said this, if you want to know the workings of the Senate, why do we have two senators for every state, small and large? What did our founding fathers, what are they thinking of? Mm -hmm. They wanted the participation for the smaller, the minority. And a state back then of Del Delaware or Rhode Island was a very small state compared to New York and, and Virginia. So he wanted that input, and we want that input. We'll make it work. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you very much for your long, boring lecture about federalism, Joe. But uh, as you can see, uh, I'm not the least bit interested. All I want to know, will you ditch the filibuster? Please, Joe, please, please ditch the filibuster. Or, or at least just give us a hint that you might ditch the filibuster. Please, Joe, please. I know you gotta go, gotta go in one second, but you, you know you're also just in the center of so many issues in Washington. Not one of, and, and you're one of the one of the issues is you're working on trying to get a voting rights bill passed with Lisa Murkowski. Let you're it. working. Just look, can I, let me finish the question. Let me finish the question. What's the matter with you, Joe? How dare you interrupt me while I beg you to ditch the filibuster? Just, just ditch it, please, please, Joe, please, please, please. <laughs> Well, can you just look, can I, let me finish the question. There's no sign that there's actually going to be 60 votes to get that done. Some of your Democratic colleagues say Joe Manchin should agree for an exemption, allow voting rights to pass on a simple majority, change the Senate's filibuster rules to do that. Would you be open to that? I asked everybody, how well did the 2013 nuclear option work when in 2017 it came back and took it off the Supreme Court? That's all. What goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. So let's work together. Let's mm -hmm. find a pathway forward. So you're a, you wouldn't do that, an exemption? Let's find a pathway forward. That's it. An exemption joke. An exemption. Make an exception with an exemption. Just this one time. Only this one time, Joe. Please, please, just one time. Please, please give a give your little Manu an exemption. Make him a happy man. Give your little Manu an exemption. Please, Joe, please, please, please.